Hi everyone, I'm sorry that I've been MIA. You can probably tell that there's a different background. Um, my computer actually, <sighs> I was doing an art project and um, I got some really industrial strength glue and it actually burned through some paper plates and got on my computer and now my computer's acting really wonky. I took it to Best Buy and they say that there's a really um, bad wiring malfunction and so now I'm on my mom's computer until I can either afford to get it fixed or get a new computer but um, since it's a laptop it's, it's going to cost a lot to fix it and so it's probably not worth fixing because it, it, it just costs what it's worth so um, I'm an idiot and pretty much fried my computer and it's only like six or seven months old <sighs> I could just shoot myself in the face all right, so anyway, that's why I've kind of been MIA, um, and also I haven't really been up on reading lately. I think I read too many books at once, and I kind of got burned out. But I did go to the library last week. You, If you follow my blog, this is old news for you, but I wanted to make a video. So the first book I got is Shelter by Harlan Coben, and I actually loved his other book. I can't remember the name of it. Hold Tight. That's what it was called, and it was an adult novel. But this one is about a guy named Mickey, and he um, witnessed his father's murder, and also he sent his mom to rehab. And so he goes to live with his crazy uncle Mickey, or my Mackie? Myron, duh. And um, he had to switch high schools, and um, he meets a girl named Ashley, and he kind of thinks things are kind of looking up for him and he's doing better in school and things are going well and all of a sudden Ashley just disappears and Mickey has to go to the underworld and find her and Ashley isn't what she seems and neither is his father and so um, it's just him discovering secrets and things like that and I thought that this book would be really good. So I got that one, and R.L. Stein commented on it, and I love R.L. Stein. He's a good horror uh, mystery author. Then the second book I got is Hollowed by Cynthia Hand, and this is the second book in the um, Unearthly series, and I love, love, loved the first one. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm not going to mention much because I don't want to spoil anybody, but I got that one. And then... Um, I got Kathleen, Please Come Home by Scott O'Dell, and this is about a girl, a 15-year-old girl named Kathleen, and her mother, whoops, glare, her mother accidentally kills her boyfriend, I think, and so she is a immigrant, and so she goes to her, with her girlfriend to Baja, and it's just like, her story and um, I actually honestly got it because it's kind of short like this and so it'd be easy to read because I'm kind of I'm feeling behind even though I'm not I feel behind on my challenge my reading challenge so I just got this one it looked really good and it got the Marshall Cavendish Classic Award and it's a Newbery Medal winning author so um, I thought that this would be an interesting read and um, so I got that and then the last book I got was Two Truths and a Lie by Sarah Shepard and I already read this one and I will have a review up hopefully today. Sorry the lighting is really bad. But um, yeah this is the third book in the uh, Lion Game series. So um, yeah I'll give my opinion on that later. Right now I am reading Die For Me by Amy Plum and I'm only like 20 pages in so I don't really have an opinion on it yet. But um, yeah, so those are the books I got. I'm, again, I'm so sorry that I've been MIA, guys. Um, it's not intentional, I promise. <laughs> and um, I just haven't really been in re into reading, but now I am. I think it was just that I got way too many books, and due dates were starting to come up, and I hadn't read those books, and I was starting to feel a little stressed out, so I just didn't want to read anything. And um, I always do that. I always, like, see a bunch of books, and I want to get them before someone else can. And I'm very competitive that way with books. And so I got way too many, and I was way in over my head, and I just couldn't deal with it. But oh, also, I read um, The Clearing by Heather Davis, and I did not like it. So I couldn't really finish it. Um, yeah, it, I didn't care for it. Um, I just, I loved The Time Traveler's Wife a lot better. And so I just kept 
it kept um, repeating itself to me and I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of a copycat. But anyway, um, yeah, that's my book haul. I hope you guys are having a good week. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, there will be more videos, not as big as gap as, it, as there has been lately. But I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. It is gorgeous outside. I'm going to go outside and read a little bit on the um, porch. And we are going to the dog pound today to help my friend pick out a dog. So we're super excited. So yeah, have a good day guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.